Shalom. I'm here with my son. I used to call him little Jason, but he's he's taller than me now. So um, just call him Jason. Um, it's always good to, to be with him. And I felt the need to have him here for this video um, because recently a childhood friend of mine uh, reached out to me. Actually, I reached out to him to see how he was doing because uh, he experienced um, just some recent tragedies in his life, one being uh, the loss of his beloved son. Although he gets inspired by uh, the videos and the other things that I do, um, he sometimes feels guilty, uh, wishing he could have done more for his own son, um, like what he see with me and little Jay or little Big Jay. Our relationship is good, it's great, right. but it's not perfect. And there's always some things that I feel as a father that I can do better. If you're a good father and you desire to be a greater one, you're always find yourself feeling like you need to do better. It's For me, it's not more so what fathers don't do. It's showing that you guys care and you guys are willing to do stuff. Mm. And it's like reaching out to us, like, do you want to go to the gym today? Or do you want to practice? Or do you want to read the Bible today? It's always showing that you guys care. I mean... Always talk to your sons on what you guys can do better. It's um with a relationship, it's always two ways. You guys always have to express yourselves. You guys have to be transparent. If one person is putting their relationship, I mean, if one person is putting their effort into a relationship and the other person isn't, then it's not going to be two ways. And one person is going to feel one way about the other person. Mm. And it's just going to be mixed feelings about each other. And you're not going to be able to love each other equal i'm glad you said that because sometimes i'll be feeling like i often say i'm going above and beyond and i don't feel i'm getting that from you you know like whatever you need i do you know the drop of a dime little jay little big jay gotta be straight right right but if i ask you to do a chore or something it's not done with that same excitement right and so that's a very good point man because it's reciprocal. It has to be both ways in a relationship. I like that. That's very good. What do you see in me uh, when, you know, I make a mistake? Do you see me hold it in? Do you see me come to your son and say, I'm sorry? Or do I take it out on you? You would say, I'm sorry. We would move on. We would also talk about how we can avoid that, like a specific thing from happening again. Mm -hmm. And we move on and we go on with our days. And um, we always, we always, you know, talk and it's always good to be transparent mm -hmm. because like I said before, it's a two-way relationship. If you're not getting what you feel and the other person feels and just talking about that, it's not going to end well. And if you hold it in as a father, I feel like it's like your son's going to be like, dang, did he really care? Like if he did that on accident or he didn't mean that, he would come to me and mm -hmm. tell me like, dang son i'm sorry i didn't mean that how can i improve but if you're just ignoring it and not expressing your son well expressing that to your son it's gonna give that to the son like dang does he really care or like is it that important to him or mm -hmm. am i that important to him so a lot of times as fathers um we didn't have uh the blueprint we're trying to figure it out and so it, it helps as fathers that the, the sons or daughters initiate as well tell us what you desire we're not mind readers you know dad i really would like you to talk to me more about girls or i don't feel safe talking to you about girls or um dad can you help me with making this um robotics piece or whatever it could be anything or dad come play this game with me right. when you initiate with us like you said the relationship has to go both ways it helps us as fathers become better and and we're not mind readers like you're not a mind reader I wanted to do this for my friend and other men who I know who may watch this and feel, man, you know, I wish I could be a father like Mr. Wilson. Man, it's a process. Am I right? Don't I fail? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like literally, like I I fail often, but I rise. I, I, I fall. I get back up. I apologize and I keep going. I just don't want to give up. I don't I don't want to just show you my highlight reel. I want to show you the practice real, where you see the mistakes, but you see the recovery and how I get better and better and stronger and stronger. Same thing with my son, you know, um, 
how you're growing, you know? And so I, I um, well, we pray that this will encourage you. And uh, Father, stop condemning yourselves. Just give yourself some grace. Engage with your children. Be there. Be transparent. Let them know what you're feeling. Like Lil Jay said, it makes the world of difference. And saying sorry or apologizing actually makes them feel what more important, right. valuable, and that we're not trying to drop the ball. It just slips through our hands sometimes because we're carrying so many balls. So again, uh, have a blessed day, and um, we pray to just encourage you. Shalom. Shalom.